Tyler, thank you very much. The page book, the collection of economic analysts from the 12 Federal Reserve Bank, their success. Economic activity was unchanged over the course of the uh, the, period, the six week period. Uh, usually they say it's modest to moderate growth. First unchanged we've seen in a while. Now, five districts say there was slight to modest growth. Five districts said there was slight to modest softening in growth in their districts. Most districts did say the consumer spending was steady though auto sales were muted. There was solid leisure and hospitality activity across the districts, though. Uh, manufacturing did grow in several districts, but some manufacturing declined, and that was due to supply chain issues and labor shortage. Residential real estate weakened noticeably, according to the base book. Growth outlook, the growth outlook, however, remained generally weak overall for the U.S. economy. When it comes to employment, it rose at a modest to moderate pace. Labor market conditions remained tight, but one bit of good news here, there was some improvement in labor supply. The reports of slowing wage growth uh, in some places, but prices remained elevated. Nine districts, though, reported some moderation in the rate of price increases or inflation. There was substantial price infl inflation, though, reported across all districts, including for food and rent and other uh, necessities. Some tapering was seen in commodity prices and pricing pressures, however, according to the context of the Federal Reserve, were expected to persist through the year end. One little bit here, let me add Michael Barr, the vice chair of banking supervision, and the new vice chair, laying out his views on uh, uh, banking regulations, saying crypto asset, crypto related assets uh, activity requires oversight. And then it's from the Federal Reserve and Bank Supervisor. He plans to work with other regulators to ensure that crypto activity inside banks is well regulated. He said he's committed to a safer and fairer banking system. Courtney? Thank you, Steve. I have a question. I guess the residential real estate weakened yeah. noticeably, and that one stands out to me because I know so many recessions or economic downturns have a very important real estate component, and the weakened noticeably stands out to me. What do you think of this? Well, it stood out to me too. That was uh, uh, one of the more what do you want to say demonstrative comments in the uh, in the beige book. I'm trying to see if there's any other detail around it. Uh, uh, not that I'm seeing here. Uh, Residential loan demand was weak amid elevated mortgage interest rates here. Um, commercial real estate also softened. But I'll read you what it says. Despite some reports of strong leasing activity, residential real estate conditions weakened noticeably as home sales fell in all 12 districts and residential construction remained constrained by input short shortages. Mm -hmm. So that's there's two parts to that story there, mm -hmm. uh, Courtney. And you're right to focus, I think, on uh, what's happening in, in the housing market. We had several analysts on our air. Uh, describe what's happening in housing as a recession. It doesn't appear as if the rest of the economy right now is in recession. But, of course, autos, which were muted, and housing are two sectors that are often pointed to as the most interest rate sensitive. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.